So ladies and gentlemen, the season two trailer has finally released, even though the season has been out for what, about four, five, six, seven, maybe eight hours by now, but I'm going to go over it and have a look at it. I'm going to play it for you and then afterwards we'll quickly pick apart what we see. Prepare to clash against emerging threats, from the eccentric Hubak twins to a colossal megalodon stalking the seas. Experience it all for free in the second season of Skull and Bones, Chorus of Havoc. Wage war on the flamboyant Hubak twins and their chorus fleet in the duet of death. Face Armand and Bertrand Hubak as their deadly abilities with song allow them to serenade their enemies right to their doom. Overcome their fleet and collect their wave shields and advance sound powered technology to lure the famed twins out for a spectacular finale at the end of the season. To support the Hubak twins' efforts, the French king dispatches an elite company royale warship, the Soleil Royale, to help eradicate the pirate infestation once and for all. Take the ferocious warship down for a chance to obtain a rare new furniture for severe flooding damage. Look beyond the company fleet and you might spy a shadowy killer stalking the seas. Drawn to rich feeding grounds in the wake of so much turmoil, the bloodthirsty Megalodon Lestari. Slay this legendary creature for a chance to earn exclusive cosmetics. The mysterious Tooling organizes a special time-limited race during the Dragon's Regatta to identify captains who are skilled navigators. Complete the elaborate courses for a chance to acquire new furniture, combat boosting rice dumplings, event cosmetics and an exclusive pet reward only for the best sailors on the grand ranking. In the meantime, mega corporations from the West bring with them ice to tackle the scorching tropical heat during the season's summer fiesta event. Complete new time-limited contracts for new furniture, unique event cosmetics, and loot blocks of ice from merchants to collect combat-boosting beverages that will give you an edge on the high seas. leases are a new way to acquire manufacturers of your choice within the world. Obtain them from the Smuggler Pass for free, complete the season's contracts to win them as rewards, or barter with Skurlock and Rama for a good deal. As your smuggling empire grows in power, so does the fleet of ships under your command. With fleet management, send your best ships out to collect precious pieces of eight from your manufactories. Our new ship upgrade feature also allows for more extensive ways to ready your ships for combat. From the ability to equip auxiliary weapons on small ships, to increased ramming damage and overall boosts for hull and brace strength. With stronger ships, grow your empire even further by engaging in two new takeover opportunities. In manufactory defense, defend your controlled manufactories from invading faction ships to safeguard your helm operations. In buyout, locate corrupt officials in scattered outposts and bribe them for control of a manufactory. Move fast to secure your deal before time runs out. Thanks to your feedback, we've also added new quality of life features. From the ability to interact with all your pets in your helm headquarters to a death cam feature that helps you pinpoint who to exact your revenge on. And we designed player cards for added customization. We've also improved gameplay balancing and integrated all-around UI improvements to enhance your pirate experience on these lawless seas. Claw your way to the top of the Kingpin leaderboard and defend your position to unlock new powerful weapons and equipment. off more dynamic threats and complete Tooling's tasks to unlock new rewards across three free unique tracks on the Smuggler Pass, the Shipmaster, Quartermaster and Gunnermaster. Obtained from the Shipmaster, the Rhapsody of the Deep Armor strengthens your hull, enabling you to withstand the Chorus Fleet's unrelenting attacks. The Gunnermaster grants the Infernal Maw 
powerful spring loader that launches a fiery minefield to deal extensive burning damage against enclosing enemies. From the Quartermaster, acquire the Boy Locker, which increases the number of boys your spring loader can launch for healing allies or devastating enemies. You'll also earn gold on the Premium Pass to purchase more extravagant cosmetics from renowned foreign bazaars. They bring with them a feisty new clawed companion, Jack's Noggin. The captivating Demise Wart collection from the depths of the ocean. The intimidating Journey to the West collection from faraway eastern shores. And the maniacal Jester's collection from whimsical horrors. The stage has been set, Captain. It's time to raise the curtain and put on a good show for those who dare challenge your rule amidst the chorus of havoc. Okay, so after seeing that, there was a couple of things that I wanted to touch base on. Now, there wasn't a lot, but one part here... If I'm correct, if you defeat them, you get their shield, which was... Where did it say that? It might be around here. It was saying that if you defeat them... Overcome their fleet and collect their wave shields and advance sound... Did you hear that? Defeat their fleet and collect their wave shields. I'll repeat that just in case I was talking over that moment. Fleet and collect their wave shields and advance sound power technology to lure the... So if you defeat them, you can collect their shields. Does that mean we can get these ugly things on the side of the ship? And if so, does that mean we're going to be able to be broken like they look? I mean, it does look amazing. I mean, moving forwards, what have we got? We've got the company royale. This is nothing new to us. Um, and we had these bits going on. I'm going to just mute the volume while I just go through. We've got the, uh, what, the Browers Powder House new furniture. What do you reckon that's going to entail? We can see that it's obviously mortar bombs. There's nothing else to it. And it's got the DMC. Does this mean we're going to be able to fire auxiliaries in barrages like the DMC can with this? Who knows? Obviously, we won't know until we can claim that at a later date. But wow, flipping heck, did the Megalodon look absolutely insane? Or was it just me who could not wait to actually go ahead and fight this? Because this Megadon looks absolutely mega. Um, as well as the cosmetics, <laughs> I don't know if that's its tooth or whatever it is. But I mean, it's probably the right size to be its tooth. But this looks flipping awesome. We got engaged in festival events, so if you didn't know about this, you can do races in the game. And that is started as of right now, the 28th of May until the 17th of June. Um, I've just done a video. I haven't uploaded it yet. This video is actually going to come out before the video that I'm about to upload on the racing. But I went through all the upgrades on the ships, and the Brigantine is going to be the fastest ship with the Sandbook, funny enough, uh, and the Bark coming second. So if you're looking for a very fast ship, Brig, then Sandbook and Bark. Um, and... What you were seeing there with that pet on the front, I believe the top one, 800 racers are going to get this Lima with the Golden Dragon. Just to know that you are a, a, a top tier racer in this game, which is pretty damn awesome. And I think the racing is a very good addition. The cosmetics look pretty good overall. I'm not too sure about the Summer Fiesta, what's going to happen there. Uh, but we've got a couple of bits and bobs as well as Leather Fashion Station. Not too sure what that is. Obviously, we're going to get these very cool looking um, drinks. What they're going to do for us, we won't know. Obviously, we'll know closer to the time. Uh, uh, helm lease. So, yet again, there's multiple ways of getting a helm lease. Music to my ears. I've already consumed all of mine, but I've got a video coming for that. Um, we don't. We didn't see anything else on the map when it happened here. So, that is pretty much a shame. Um, but we just saw, like, obviously, you can have the ships. If you have them at level 11, you can get 610 pieces of eight. But you need them at 12 to get, obviously, uh, not a major ship risk. When we're going through as well, uh, the small ships can have auxiliary. So if you didn't take note of that, um, it was obviously in the patch notes. But for those of you who never saw the patch notes, uh, you know about it now. Small ships, as long as they are upgraded, can do it. Manufactory Defense, I've done that. There's going to be a video coming out tomorrow. It was meant to come out today, but time has escaped me because I'm going to be going live on Twitch.tv in about one hour's time. iDefTrady is free. The link is in the description. If you haven't uh, followed me on Twitch and you want to be able to play with me and uh, do some of the missions together, then come over to the Twitch. And I've got Twitch drops with loads of goodies coming. Um, buy out, obviously, a new mission. These are all things that I've got to literally upload videos on. I haven't been able to do so so far 
uh, and then going through this is a pretty cool feature that you can see exactly what they've got when they've killed you and who was the one who sunk you so you can really get that sweet revenge i didn't realize you could change your uh, banner in game which is cool i do like the new ui that they've added to the game it looks rather cool um the smugglers passed now this this was saying uh odd if you're in the top of the piece of eight leaderboard you are going to get yourself weapons and armor given to you so that's that's a good reason to be top um i wonder if we're gonna actually get the armor though for reaching diamond this season or, or not i mean the, the diamond art skin wasn't amazing a lot of people are not gonna like it the new more uh, you have to get rank 30 on gunmaster um you can see obviously it comes with these these mortars pretty cool but yet again yet to try it and see how viable it actually is might be really viable in the likes of a sandbook with fire damage the new pet with a crab uh, we've already seen that we can see like this wukong looking uh cosmetic i i actually like that i'll probably get that uh i like the jester mask that looks really cool especially with other hats and stuff um and then yeah the megalodon was just mega guys as well if you want to be part of the best community on discord discord.gg forward slash uh death squad the ears are free and uh yeah links are in the description hopefully you enjoyed this let me know your thoughts let me know if you managed to pick apart anything else in this trailer so the one thing when i mean by that is there any new ships or anything that you've seen? I couldn't see any, but if you have got the eagle eye and you've seen something, let me know in the comments down below so we can make a video on it. So, guys, much love. See you on Twitch tonight, and I'll see you in the Discord. Peace.